What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Here's today's start question. Have you ever ridden a coaster with the Heartline roll? Seems like a weird question I'll admit, but it does have something to do with today's topic, pipeline coasters. Ever since the 1980s, pipeline coasters have been one of the most entertaining ideas in the coaster world, but no manufacturer has seemed to perfect it, and those that were created generally had pretty short-lived existences. More interesting than that, multiple manufacturers tackled prototypes, some were built, relocated, lost, and there are a slim few still in operation today. And actually, I had just been watching and doing some research on old coaster videos and came across a prototype at the Aero facilities that I thought was super cool, and then I remembered a video I made on the Intimate Spiral Coaster, so I just wanted to know more about the pipeline coaster in general. So what are they, and where did they come from? This is a brief history and story of the pipeline coaster. The first pipeline coaster was created by Togo, a Japanese manufacturer, and was installed in 1985 at Tokyo Dome City as the first Ultra Twister, what would become the only successful attempt at a recurring pipeline coaster model. The ride gained some notoriety in Japanese amusement parks, and Six Flags even bought one of these coasters for their Six Flags Great Adventure Park one year after the first one opened. That coaster remained there until 1990, when it was transferred to Six Flags Astro World, where it operated until the park's closure in 2005. This was the only pipeline roller coaster in America, and up until its removal, would remain the only one in the USA. Or so it says online. As a matter of fact, there indeed was another pipeline coaster in the USA, only it operated exclusively and was never verified as a credit. Why? Well, long story short, it was just a prototype. A prototype from none other than Aerodynamics, who made several attempts to create a pipeline coaster in the early 1990s. It was at their facilities in Clearfield, Utah, that just one of them was constructed. But because of the roughness and other issues presented by the ride, the coaster's plans were completely abandoned, which was a bummer because John Wardley made two attempts to construct one at Alton Towers in the early 1990s, but disliked the prototype after riding it. Today Nemesis fills the space. But moving aside from an American standpoint, let's look at the rest of the world. Believe it or not, Intamin also constructed a pipeline coaster of their own, dubbed the Spiral Roller Coaster, in the mid-1990s. There isn't much information available regarding the design, but only one of them was ever produced, which was also thought to have in fact been the prototype from their facilities. I made an in-depth video on the coaster if you want to check it out, and I'll put a link in the description to it. That coaster went to Sky Plaza in Japan inside of a mall, and after barely 5 years of operation, was transported to a small park called Al Shaab Leisure Park in Kuwait. Despite various improvements and a repaint just a few years before the park permanently closed, it never operated and was removed in 2017. The model developed by Togo, on the other hand, would be the only moderately successful model line as I mentioned, mostly due to their compact size. Six of these were produced and were successful in tiny parks. Today, only five pipeline coasters remain in operation. So while I can't say I think the model could have ever been as successful as some others, I certainly do love the idea and would love to experience one of the remaining five for myself one day. It seems like an awesome experience, so if you know what it's like, do tell about it down below. But as always, that's the end of another short video, so please go ahead and like and subscribe if you feel willing to do so, or learn something new, and I appreciate you all being here. It's fun to research and learn about these cool topics, so thanks for keeping me on it. Stay tuned for another video coming in a couple days, and until then, we'll see you all there. See ya!